at the moment I'm just going to put this away and go down here because I will end up on my ass. Oops. Oop. Oh, my nose is driving nuts today. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Lake District. I cannot tell you how excited I am to be back out in the fells. It's been a flipping long time, I can tell you. It was, uh, it was the beginning of October, in fact. That was last out. Um, that's because I went to Nepal in November and I thought, well, I'll give it three weeks before I go just to avoid any kind of injury. So I've not been out since. I went up the old man when I got back, but that was just a quick scamper around. I've not spent a whole day out, so I'm super excited about this. Um, in fact, I think it probably warrants a skip. <laughs> so, what am I doing? If you cast your mind back to summer last year, um, when I did that wild camp up on S Pike, in the morning I went over to Bowfell, and I think I said uh, that at some point in the future I would do a Bowfell vlog, and... Uh, well, today is that point in future. I'm gonna go and do Bowfell, and I'm gonna go and do the Crinkle Crags as well. Uh, the plan was also to go and do Pike of Blisco, but I think, I don't know, time-wise, I might run out of time. The weather's not great, to be honest with you. It was forecast a bit showery, but it hasn't actually stopped raining yet, so uh, we'll see. So what I'm gonna do is gonna go up the band, and I'm gonna go via the Climbers Traverse up to the Great Slab, onto Bowfell and then back over onto the Crinkle, so quite a nice route. Um, I think I'm going to get wet today. I don't think I'm going to see many people today. It's completely clagged in, so I don't think there's going to be many views today. Probably no drone today, but who cares? <laughs> I'm going to film as much as I can and, uh, and have a bit of fun. Just nice to be back, back out again, you know, amongst it all. I've really missed it. So uh, let's go, let's get through Stoolend Farm and get up the band. I'll see you in a minute. Good thing about the band is you gain height pretty quickly and those views open up nice and quickly as well. I mean, look at the light now. I'll tell you what, I think there's some potential today. I almost wrote this off. I almost wrote it off as a completely wet, clagged in walk, but there's some really nice light over the pikes. So it might be lucky. The cloud base is quite low over on the crinkles at the moment. When you've got Pike of Blisco here, completely gone. And yet Langdale Pikes uh, are opened up. Whew, it's windy. Nice. <laughs> By the way, if you did watch the uh, wild camp video I did back in the summer, you probably would have noticed I had a bit of a bloodied knee. <laughs> and it was at this point here that I did it. I came round this corner, <laughs> around this corner here, bombing it down, and I saw a guy down there who was, well, as you say, he was kind of on the large side, with his top off. <laughs> and I was sort of like, what the hell? That's disgusting. <laughs> and I just went down, bang, right on here. 
right on my knee. That was instant karma. I shouldn't have said that about that guy. God, I hope he's not watching. I mean, I mean, his body was like Brad Pitt, really. Anyway, if you haven't watched it, go and watch it. It's the best wild camping video on YouTube. It's a nice crap. <laughs> okay, I'm waffling. So, it kind of, there's quite a few false summits on the band. You kind of think, oh, well, I'm here now. No, you're not. Nowhere near. It kind of goes on and on and on. Up and up, like a helter skelter thing, whatever they're called. Oh, look at that. I'll, um, that's kind of bamboozled me a little bit. Very nice. If we get a day like that where we get little patches of light, I'm gonna be a happy bunny. My God, that just suddenly got up. Right, got to the point now where you can just make out the call between Crinkle Crags and Bowfell. And you can see Bowfell Buttress there. I mean, you probably can't see on this camera. <laughs> But that's the point where the path will go off and that's what we need and eventually we'll go to Bofell, which you can't see and then we'll drop down to three tans that bit there and go across so this boulder here is probably quite a good uh, a good marker for knowing that it's right there god it's looking gorgeous now yeah i need my camera out see ya Okay, wind's just gone up a little bit. <laughs> uh, right, so there is actually a little pile of stones here at the point where we break off to the climbers traverse. Um, so actually you can see the main path there coming up the band and you can see the col between the two, the two mountains there. So it's pretty easy to find. And then it's a steep push up to the beginning of the climbers traverse. So uh, let's get going, but before I go, look at that weather moving across the pikes. That was quite special a minute ago. I didn't get a photograph. <laughs> Typically. Right. Let's head on to the uh, the beginning of the, the traverse. Okay. I've just got to the point where the, uh, the path levels out at the beginning of the climbers traverse. It's quite a steep pull up there actually. Um, starts off a bit boggy and then goes into a proper stepped path. And then now levels out into this, what turns out to be a quite a narrow path with quite some quite big drops on, on one side. So you can see it here, cutting across the uh, front face of Bofell here towards Bofell Buttress. I mean, just look at that. I mean, there's orcs that live in here, they've got to be. <laughs> Let's uh, get across, head towards the Great Slab, and then up towards the summit of Bofell. So, uh, as you know, this is the Climbers Traverse. I think it gets quite a lot of people nervous just because of the name, Climbers Traverse. Oh my God, it must be really technical. It's not technical at all. It's just a footpath. Um, albeit in places quite a narrow one with a big drop on one side, but it is just a path. Look at that view. Doesn't get much better than that, does it, really? <laughs> Incredible. So this would be fun actually in snow. I was kind of hoping that there would still have been a bit of snow around today, but sadly not. Wow. So we've got a little bit of light on the side of Glaramara there. Fantastic. <laughs> 
Whew. I absolutely love these conditions. And it's a bit cloudy, a bit clagged in, moody, wonderful. So as I say, there's no technical bits on this at all. It is just a path. Look at it. Is this one of the nicest paths in the lakes of what? Yeah, this is the most technical bit. It's just a, a bit of a rock that I'm just going to swing myself off. Somehow, should be interesting. There you go. So far, so good. Nice, incredible views. Uh, big drop. But yeah, enjoyable. Okay, I mean, that's, that's kind of it, really. That narrow path there, there's not a lot to it. It widens out a little bit now, and then kind of go up this direction now. Well, in a sec, I'm gonna get down to here. It's pretty obvious where it ends comes to an end at this big slab of rock which isn't the great slab by the way great slab's a bit further up so in fact here is the bottom of the great slab here so I'll just mosey on up to that so you can see it so here we are at the top of the great slab and it goes all the way down all the way it's huge very difficult to get a sense of scale on this but uh, that is a very large piece of rock and dare I say it I might even be able to get a cloud free summit you know it's looking pretty good now but look at that great slab you got to admit it's pretty great okay summit is just up there. Here we go. Now the summit. I don't think there's anybody here. Well, I've never seen that before. I've never seen the summit free of people. Wow. That's a first. Always good to have a first. <laughs> yeah, pretty windy. As I was approaching there, it was clagging in again. I thought, flipping next typical. Not going to get a view, but it's kind of opened out a little bit. I think it's just changing all the time. There's Langdale Valley down there. The rest of the route is that way. So Crinkle Crags is there. Kind of make out three towns down the bottom there, which is at the bottom, at the top of the band where I came up before. And uh, 
yeah, S Pike is that way. Scarfell Pike and Scarfell is over there. So what I might do is get out of this wind and wait for a little bit, get my camera out. Might get some nice photographs. See, it just keeps clearing out. So uh, there's S Pike there. Yeah, I'm gonna go and sit down. I might even have some food, who knows. <laughs> Look at that. Woo! Awesome. So let's go and get some shelter. Okay, I hung about for a little bit. Um, oh my god, look at it over there now. Ah, <sighs> typical. I hung around up the top there, see if I get some shots down SDL. It just didn't work out. It's got really cold, so uh, I've decided to move on. I'm going to head on to the Crinkles now. Three towns. Named because there are three towns. <laughs> Strangely enough. So this is the, the call that I was talking about before when I was coming up the band. So it sits between Borfell, which is just up there, and Crinkle Crags ahead of us, ahead of me. That's an old God damn it. <laughs> just gonna head up now. Crinkle Crags is a bit of a funny one. There's multiple summits, hence the name Crinkles, because it kind of, I guess it, you know. So probably, in terms of distance, probably about halfway now. Um, and most of it, like I say, is undulating here, and then it's all downhill from there. Bowfell, I think definitely one of my favorite fells, especially on a, a clearish day. You don't have to get some views from the top of there because it's got quite a conical summit. It's quite, uh, well, the views are uninterrupted really at the top. Let's go and check out the first bump on the crinkles or the first crinkle just a little one this is actually the first ring contour you can see on the map on the os map or any map <laughs> come to think of it yeah oh my nose that'd be crazy oh some nice light down in uh, eskdale now Ooh, got this wind blown over. So let's go and have a look over the edge without getting blown off it. Yeah, not a bad view. So you can see the band where I came up before. It's all just clagged in again, so. <laughs> Yeah, Climbers Traverse is kind of over that way. Langdale Valley there, wind in me in the distance. Rest of the crinkles this way, so go back down off here. I'll just thread my way up to the top of the next one. Check out these. I love it when it does that. When the cloud goes over and then drops down into the valley. That's pretty gorgeous. Right, I'm just approaching the second crinkle. You can see the first one there, look. That was on a second ago. And obviously, the mighty Borfell over there. Now looking behind, look at that. Wow. Looking over towards Borrowdale, skidding in the background. I think it looks like an amazing day everywhere else in the lakes. Just not here. Look at that. Definitely bodies in there. <laughs> awesome. Just such a brilliant little summit, this. Beautiful. Just barren, bleak, but beautiful. BBB. Today would be a very good photography day if I wasn't doing this just to kind of find a good spot and sit there but just wait a second i'm gonna get that okay i didn't get that shot <laughs> by the time i put this off and away and got my camera out it all gone it was up there is that the two 
next bumps. A little bit of cloud between them, it looked good, it looked quite dramatic. But look at this, isn't this just the most gorgeous path that you could ever walk? It is wonderful. Wonderful. Third crinkle done. That was, uh, it's quite fun actually coming up that boulder field there. It starts off as a little bit of a path and then it just kind of goes <laughs> and you need to find your own way up. But by heck, look at that for a view. <sighs> Pretty spectacular. worth every step so I shall continue the light's definitely changing now I can really feel like the, the sun's going down it's a warmer softer glow uh, so I better get moving on to the next one number four I'm on the fourth one now. <laughs> Even though I probably could have stayed on, on the first one and you'd never have known because they all look the same. <laughs> same view, same rocks. There we are looking down at Langdale again. I mean, that's a pretty good drop that, isn't it? Wow. So that's number three there. Number four, five just over here. Then it's on the other side of that. That's the bad step. I'm just gonna step away from that edge because it, the wind is gusting. All it'll take is one gust and I'll be whew, history. Some nice shots over then towards Borfell. Light, this little fleeting moment of light there. Uh, and it really is fleeting today. It's got to be quick. Look at that. It's wild. Yeah, this is the final bump. Whew, that is a cold, cold wind. Here we go, look at this. It's just hell. That's just going to the pits of hell. <laughs> you can see here, it's on top of the path here, look. So you can scramble up or bomb it down. Jesus Christ, it's windy. Right, <laughs> let's get on. Let's go past the gates of hell, up onto the top of the main crinkle. Here we are on the biggest of the lumps, uh, which is probably the main summit one uh, of Crinkle Crags. This is the summit of Crinkle Crags. <laughs> So, bad step is just around that way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go around this side along the path and we'll drop down to it and go check it out. Ooh, it's looking bleak. I like bleak. So pop across here and this is the bad step there you go it's actually you just go up there doop 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 so Step, step, kind of step, step, and up. So the crinkle crags are almost over. It'll take me about an hour, an hour and a bit maybe. Just take up my time, good up onto each one. I mean, you can spend ages up here really having a good look around on a nice day, on a calm day. It would be lovely to sit up there and eat your butties looking down into Langdale Valley. Okay, just come off the last bump there. 
and I just bumped into a couple of guys that I know who are on the way up to maybe get some sunset shots. I don't know, anything could happen. It's not looking likely, but apparently there's a few more of them down here on the way up, so I might just go and stalk them and jump out on them. It could be quite funny. All rubbish. Oh, I might get hit. <laughs> Let's throw a rock at my head. <laughs> so I need to somehow see them before they see me. I think I spotted them. They might have spotted me. <laughs> Trouble is, what if it's not them? What if it's three other people? Who goes there? Be gone! Hello! Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> How you doing? Hello. Oh. How you doing, mate? You all right? We were just weighing up with we could see a human. But How you doing, you, Mike? You I'm doing? Glenn. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I knew, finally. <laughs> right. Just dropped down now to Red Town here. Crinkles are back up there, both fells over that way. There's the band. I went up early on. There's a hoodie. Hey, hoodie. <laughs> now, this was the decision point. Do a push on and go up Pike of Blisco, uh, or do a bail and go down to, um, well, back down to the, the valley. I think I'm gonna bail, simply because this is my last battery and it's about to go. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to get up there and that's it, I won't be able to vlog anymore, I have to use my phone, blah blah blah. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'm going to save Pike of Blisco for another time. First half of the walk down from Red Tarn, it's quite pleasant. Some nice little waterfalls there, and it is beautiful and the views are stunning. Look at these hoodies. <laughs> and you get to this point here, it's quite nice. And then the second half of this bit, it's pretty awful, actually. But it is the last section of the walk. See the pub down there, the old Dungeon Guild, where I started. And uh, there'll be a pint waiting down there for me. All right, back down in the valley now. That last bit of path there, horrendous. All downward facing uh, slabs of rock and wet. Just a nightmare. I ended up on my backside, as usual. Anyway, <laughs> I'm uh, pretty much back now. So Stoolen Farm is just over there. So I might as well wrap it up. There's no point in going through there. Um, that's Crinkle Crags, by the way, up there. That's where I was today. Superb. Really good route. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and if you have, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment if, you, if you've done the route before, perhaps, or you're uh, planning to do it. Uh, what I'll do is I'll leave the route in the description so if you do fancy doing it you can uh, you can follow that if you want and uh, that's it really so i guess until next time i don't know what the hell that's going to be i'll uh, i'll see you